Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to take you through a leg workout that I did with my friend Luke. First exercise we started off with was back squats. Most of the time I train legs, I like to start it off with back squats or some kind of squat variation. This is because it's a very heavy technical exercise. I want to make sure I've got full focus and full energy when performing them. If you was to perform squats later in the workout, when you're more tired and fatigued, the chances of injury are increased. Also, your body is going to be at its strongest right at the start of the workout. So that's why I choose to do them first. So we decided to go heavy today. I'm working with 125 kg for three sets of five. As you can see, I'm taking a deep breath into my stomach before every single rep, bracing my core, keeping everything nice and tight. Next, we moved over to the leg press. We decided to go a little bit higher reps on this exercise. We're aiming for 10 to 12 reps. So here I placed my feet about hip width making sure my knees are staying in traction with my feet, driving through my heel every single rep. Next up, we moved on to some Romanian deadlifts with the dumbbells. This is gonna target the glutes and the hamstrings in particular. So we kept this one at 12 to 15 reps for a total of three sets. On this exercise, you want to keep the dumbbells as close to your legs as possible. Push your hips back, keeping your head in line with your spine, controlling the weight down nice and slow, getting a good stretch in the hamstrings, and then squeezing your glutes as you come back up. So it's very important that you're hinging from the hips, keeping that back nice and straight, not letting your upper or lower back round. Again, making sure you're keeping your core nice and tight, that's going to place more emphasis on the hamstrings and protect your lower back. After that we wanted to move on to some unilateral work. So that means working one side of the body at a time. Here we've got reverse lunges on the Smith machine. So normally when I do reverse lunges I like to do them with the barbell on the squat rack. However the squat rack was actually taken on this day. So here we have to make use of the situation, hence doing them on the Smith machine. So what I'm doing is taking a big step back, keeping my back straight, dropping my back knee down towards the ground and driving up through my front heel. I decided to alternate legs between every rep. Here you can see Luke decided to do it a little bit different. He's doing 10 reps on his right leg, then changing straight over to his left leg for the final 10. So reverse lunges is going to place more emphasis on your hamstrings and glutes as opposed to forward lunges where you're going to get a greater emphasis on your quadriceps. Final exercise we moved on to was a seated hamstring curl. Just a little bit of isolation work to finish. Here I've done three sets keeping the rep range between 12 to 15. On this exercise, you want to make sure you're dragging the weight back through your heel, making sure you're getting a good squeeze and stretch in the hamstrings. Just finished off training with Luke. My lower back was starting to hurt towards the end of the session there. So I'm going to go and do a little bit of stretching before I grab my post-workout meal. I'll show you what I'm eating in the next clip. Okay, post-workout meal. Just got some chicken breast, a few green beans, and a little bit of sriracha hot sauce. So hot sauce is one of my go-to condiments when I'm dieting. It's very low in calories, adds a lot of flavor to your food. So it's a very good option if your calories are restricted. So I'm gonna polish off this food. Then I've got two clients that I'm gonna train. Then I've got a half hour spin class. So you probably think I'm a bit crazy teaching a spin class right after training legs. It's actually not as bad as you think as the muscle soreness hasn't really set into my legs yet. Tomorrow it's gonna to hurt. So this meal is pretty low in carbs. The reason for that is because I'm saving them till a bit later after the spin class. I want to enjoy them right before I go to bed. Spin and personal training done. Been a long day. Time to go home, eat and sleep. So finally home from work. 
I'm just finishing off the night with a stack of rice cakes and some protein powder. So what I've done is I mixed a couple of scoops of protein powder with just a little bit of water to make this kind of sauce. What I'm going to do is dip the rice cakes into here. So this has been one of my go-to snacks recently, a nice little sweet treat. So I'm going to touch on a subject that a lot of people tend to misunderstand, and that's the consumption of carbohydrates at night. A lot of people tend to think that if you eat carbs at night, you're gonna gain fat, and that isn't the case at all. As you can see, I'm eating carbs right now, and I'm not gonna gain any body fat from that. What it comes down to is a total consumption of carbohydrates throughout the day. You could eat your carbs in the morning, or you could eat them in the evening. It's gonna have the same effect on your body composition. Gaining body fat doesn't come down to eating carbs at night, it comes down to overeating. If you're eating more calories than you're burning, you're gonna gain fat, whether or not you've eaten the carbs in the morning or the evening. So I'm just gonna finish off these rice cakes and then get some sleep. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one. All right, finally home. So I'm just finishing off the night with some rice cakes. <coughs> Let's do that again. <laughs>